the proposition that uh, we announced today was that the government will fund $300 million from budget. Uh, we had hoped to have a partnership with the federal government on this, and indeed I wrote to the, uh, to the relevant minister, uh, Karen Andrews, yeah. uh, and indeed the Premier has written to the Prime Minister yeah. to have this matter actually tabled at the COAG meeting sure, but, in but, they, but they've said no. So okay, I mean, you, and I think it's really disappointing. I know, I know but you, you're 300 well, million bucks short, so where's okay. that going to come from? So what we said, what we've made that clear is that if there was uh, no funding provided from the federal government, and I have to say, Tom, uh, that the federal government have got skin in this game, and, we, and I'm happy to explore some of that in a moment. Uh, because uh, now that they've made that decision that they would not fund, uh, we obviously are now looking at the implementation of a planning levy. So a levy has been in place on building permits for a number of years. Uh, it's a relatively modest levy of about $350 per mm. permit, uh, and now we, are, we will have to increase that permit to raise the $300 million uh, that will be required to get this work done. Okay. But there are a number of exclusions to this, and, sure. and, and they're important to know. Okay. So uh, single houses are, are, are excluded, townhouses are excluded, uh, and any and any development uh, under $800,000 is excluded from the levy. Apart from the public safety issue, well, why should... It is, why a, should... Fun, it is a fundamental issue, Tom. Yeah, I know, I know, but why, why should public money be spent on this? I mean, I mean, these are privately developed buildings bought by sure. private individuals. Sure. You know, surely if the buildings have not been built according to the standards or they've been, they're substandard, isn't that between the owners of the apartments and the developers and builders who built them? It's a whole range of people, Tom. Mm -hmm. I mean, the simple reality of this is that uh, many of these buildings were, were built with product that did not conform to the Australian Building Code. It is simple as that. Okay, so and who, and who they signed were, off on that then? Well, they will. They almost well, whole, potentially a whole range of people will have signed off. So, but, will you, will you but, go after them? I mean, if you're going to if you're going to front the bill for rectification, would we're you... going after. We will be going after all a whole. And the Premier has made this position very, very clear today. Whilst we will be uh, seeking to have a building levy, we are certainly going to do, do a whole lot more, both in terms of the regulatory environment uh, and the potential and the v I am well aware that the VBA Victorian Building Authority is at the moment investigating a whole range of building surveyors for their for their work uh, and they are looking at potentially uh, at least suspension if not being taken out of the industry more generally okay but that, but that, that hopefully stops you know the, the alleged cowboys from building more substandard buildings in the future. Can you go after them and get some money out of them for the things that they've built in the past that aren't up to scratch or all these buildings that you're going to spend money to rectify? And that's the answer. We will step... And, and indeed, that is part of the answer as well. And the Premier has indicated that we will look at amending legislation if necessary to see how we uh, have the capacity to actually go after people who uh, have done the wrong thing.